Hello everyone, uh, just thought I'd do a quick video on this, which is the uh, <laughs> which is the torch in a lunchbox. So it's two 100 watt LEDs mounted inside whatever one I could find at the time, which is just a lunchbox at the supermarket. It's water cooled as you can see here. Individually switched. Boost converters. One per uh, LED. Take the voltage from 12 up to uh, 34, the uh, LEDs require. Uh, down there you'll see a buck converter, which is used to drive the uh, pump and the meter. Uh, it's powered by a, a LiPo, at the moment it's just on the bench, but it'll, it's powered by a LiPo uh, which I will build a bracket for to suspend underneath uh, eventually. Um, but uh, no, it was a good bit of fun this. Uh, it's, it's really bright, I'll try and put some uh, pictures at the end of the video. Uh, but a, a good bit of fun really for an incredibly powered torch, uh, powerful torch. Somewhere, somewhere in the region of 15 to 20,000 lumens. Uh, depending on what you believe from various uh, stats and specs and whatnot, um, but building was a good bit of fun. I thoroughly recommend having a iPad torch. Just got the uh, water blocks just from eBay. Uh, ones from China, 40 mil ones, uh, fit perfectly on there. Um, and then uh, the sort of L brackets from uh, kitchen cupboards, I think they're from, uh, sort of something. I bought those on eBay as well. Uh, and then the lenses, again, which you can get, just, just have a search on there. It's just sort of mounted on the front and the lens sort of uh, screws on here to the back. So the uh, lens essentially pushes the uh, LED onto the cooling block. It's all, all also attached with um, heat sink plaster, um, which is sort of like heat sink thermal glue uh, as well, just for extra measures. So it don't technically need to be mechanically fixed, but, but it is um, about three amps per LED. Um, got a main switch here which just turns on uh, the pump and the meter and then uh, you can turn on individually one, two, both, none of the LEDs. Any questions uh, let me know. On there is a horribly crude uh, circuit diagram and or schematic if you can call it that. Uh, I'm definitely not the artist <laughs> but uh, yeah that might be useful to anyone.